We want to test the series below for convergence using the root test. So to apply the root test given the summation of a sub n, we take the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of a sub n, which will equal L. And if L is less than one, then the series converges. If L is greater than one or approaches infinity, then the series diverges. And if L equals one, the test fails to provide any information. And the root test is an appropriate test when we have a series raised to the nth power, which we can see is our case here. So we'll begin by taking the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of five n divided by the quantity three n plus two all raised to the nth power. And now to simplify this, when we take the nth root of something raised to the nth power and we know it's positive, it'll simplify to just one factor, in this case of five n divided by the quantity three n plus two. So this gives us the limit as n approaches infinity of just five n divided by the quantity three n plus two. And again, for a quick review on why this simplified so nicely, if we know x is positive and we take the nth root of x to the nth, this simplifies perfectly to just one factor of x because x to the nth is a perfect nth root. But we can also think of the nth root as something raised to the one over n power. So here notice how we multiply the exponents. n times one over n will give us just x to the first or just x. And now to find our limit as n approaches infinity, because of the degree of the numerator and denominator are the same, they're both degree one, this limit is equal to the ratio of the leading coefficients, which in this case would be five thirds. And since five thirds is greater than one, by the root test, the series diverges. So to summarize this, we'll say by the root test, since the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of a sub n, in this case equals five thirds, which is greater than one, the series diverges. So as we can see from this example, the root test is a very straightforward test to apply as long as the infinite series would be appropriate for the root test. I hope you found this helpful.